Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to Traveling with Terry. Had uh, a couple of quick minutes that I wanted to share with you or uh, chat with you on this uh, Wednesday morning as we kind of get things kicked off today. And I had a question for you. The question is this that I wanted to discuss with you. Dung, as in cow poop, dung or diamond? Which one will you be today? And it stems from, uh, uh, this This question really is, is, is uh, stems from an analogy that sometimes I share that was, uh, that, that came back to my mind uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact. Yesterday was a particularly hard day at the office for me. I ran into a couple of overdue projects, a couple of clients that are grumpy and upset about some various things, and, um, I don't know. I, it was just one of those days where it was long, it was hard, I was frustrated, a little on the depressed side, a little just, just mostly just frustrated and, and feeling pretty overwhelmed uh, with things. And as I did a little introspection and, and thinking about things, I realized that I was bumping up against an old enemy that I, I wrestle with, and that is uh, self-esteem and self-worth. Oftentimes, I, I don't know if you're like me, I know I'm probably not alone in this, but Oftentimes when I make mistakes or when things are not going well in personal life or with my health or at business or just whatever aspect of my life is going on when things are not going well or I've made some mistakes and I feel like I'm I'm failing, it's easy for me to feel like a failure. Are you like that? Have you ever had that feeling or that experience when you mess up or screw up or fail in some way that you take that failure a little personally and chalk it up to your identity and and kind of call yourself a failure. I know I do. Uh, and it's crazy because despite, you know, what's interesting about self-esteem is it's not ever, ever really effectively tied to our accomplishments. I mean, I was a state and uh, regional and national gymnastics champion. I was an acrobat and a stunt performer at Walt Disney World. I've been married for 21 years. I've started three businesses, sold them. I've supported my family on those businesses of my own creation for 15 years and you know but despite all of those great and wonderful accomplishments still struggle with self-esteem and self-worth and I you know uh, even celebrities and movie stars and actors and uh, you know big fancy famous rich people they still struggle with those kinds of same, th same things uh, even despite their tremendous popularity, their popular wealth. So I think it's clear that accomplishments and outward achievements, uh, you know, don't, are, are not really well tied to how strong our internal belief system is about us. And so, um, you know, in, in, in those of us who struggle at times with feeling worthy or feeling okay or feeling like uh, you know, we're, we're, we're okay and not failures. That manifests itself all the time in our outward efforts with, with our clients, with our family members, uh, you know, with how we take care of ourselves with our own health, etc. So I guess the, this uh, question related to, to uh, dung or diamond stems from this analogy. I'll, I'll share it with you. And so I guess, my, it, so just imagine in your mind, for example, um, a farmer who's out plowing his field one day Here's a clank, reaches down into the soil and pulls out this huge diamond, huge diamond. He goes and gets it appraised and it appraises, let's say at $50,000, a $50,000 diamond. Wow, what an incredible stone. The jeweler looks at it, the cut, the clarity, the shape of it is just incredible. It's one of the purest, uh, purest diamonds he's ever seen, worth $50,000. And that jeweler appraises, again, the value of that, that diamond at $50,000. That's its current value. Now, as the farmer is walking home, let's say he, uh, he's carrying it in his pocket and he pulls it out to look at it, but then at the same time accidentally trips and stumbles on a rock and, and the diamond falls out of his hand and lands in a mud puddle. And the farmer reaches down and picks it up and now the diamond is, is just covered in mud. There's bits of rock, there's dirt, there's weeds and grass and you know there's just slime all over it what is the value of that diamond now all covered with mud well the obvious answer is it's still worth ten thousand or fifty thousand dollars right yes of course but what happens if that same farmer is uh walking walking home he kind of dusted off a little bit walking home 
and uh, he goes over to check on his cows and as he's reaching over bumps and, and knocks knocks the diamond out of his pocket and it falls into a pile of cow poop dung and there's poop all over this fifty thousand dollar diamond how much is that diamond worth now with cow poop and dung all over it answer obviously still fifty thousand dollars the principle here is you and I are actually diamonds. Our worth has been independently, objectively valued by our creator and the universe long before we ever got into business, long before ever we ever got married, long before we ever were really good at sports or really good at our particular vocations or achievements. Our value and our worth was established long ago, long, long ago. And that value is priceless. The chances of you and I being alive and being around right now individually is like one in four, uh, one in one in four billion chance. One in a four billion chance. The combination or the chances that your parents met when they did, that they, uh, uh, y you know, uh, had sex, and that you were conceived, and that you came forth, that. Uh, all of the all of the things happened to bring you about the way that you are right now one in a four billion chance that that you would actually exist today what is the worth of something that has a one in four billion chance of existing it's priceless you and I are priceless our worth has been well defined so when we go throughout our days when our relationships don't go so well when our work isn't going so well, when our kids aren't going so well, when our health isn't going so well, when our fill in the blank, whatever it might be for you, when things aren't going so well and you and I are tempted to say, I'm a, fa <clears throat> I'm a failure, I have no worth, or I'm worthless, or I'm no good, we just have to recognize sometimes all we have is a little dirt on us. All we have is a little bit of dung on us little bit of cow poo, right? But we're not the cow poo, we're not the dirt. We're actually the diamond. So it's important for you and I to see ourselves truly for who and what we are. See ourselves truly, accurately for what we are and who we really are. We're diamonds, our worth is immeasurable, priceless beyond measure. And yeah, sometimes we fall in the dirt, Sometimes we get a little cow poop on us. It's okay. That does not impact or affect our, our internal worth at all. Independently evaluated by the, by, the, uh, by the jeweler of the universe. The universe has already spoken. Our val value has already been established. So anyway, today on this beautiful uh, Wednesday here in Southeast Idaho, I <clears throat> wanted to remind you of that. You're not dung, you're a diamond. You're not dung, you're a diamond. Despite what you might fall into periodically, despite the fact that things might not go perfectly well, despite the fact that you might get frustrated or overwhelmed or depressed or feel anxiety about various things, you're not dung, you're a diamond. So let's work together, you and I. Pinky promise. Pinky promise on this Wednesday to treat ourselves, to think about ourselves, to talk about ourselves like we are truly diamonds rather than dung. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Keep up the good work. And uh, can't wait to be back with you once again on Traveling with Terry. See you later. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Did you know every company out there has what we call digital marketing blind spots? These are simple, hidden opportunities for growing and improving your marketing that most of the time people miss. Go to www.arcanemarketing.com and take advantage of our Rise and Ignite digital marketing analysis. It's 100% free to get fresh new insights and ideas to make what you're already doing that much better in 2021.